Back in the day, measuring the power of a PC was very simple. The bigger the CPU, the more powerful it is. But in today's fast advancement in technology, resulting in the influx of better, cheaper, and smaller form factors in computing, it is becoming clear that size does not always equal performance. However, Intel took microprocessing technology further. Imagine all the power you need right at the palm of your hands with Intel's next unit of computing or the Intel NUC. Get your tablets and smartphones for great prices from PCX Mobile. Now open in SM Fairview, SM City Cubao, SM Mega Mall, Gilmore, Market Market, Festival Mall, Alabang Town Center, and Pavilion Mall in Laguna. PCX Mobile, offering you the best and latest in mobile tech. The Intel NUC is a big advancement in space saving and energy efficiency in computing technology. At first glance, you may doubt that something this small could be a full-fledged desktop. But it is! This particular Intel NUC model we have houses a 4th generation Intel Core i3 desktop processor which is more than capable for your needs whether it be for entertainment, productivity, commercial, or... Gaming? Oh, gaming! But this baby is not limited to an Intel Core i3 processor. Other Intel NUC models come with an Intel Core i5 and Core i7 processors as well. So right out of the box. Serioso? Oh, big Intel again. Okay, so you'll find your Intel NUC, your manuals, Intel badge with some screws, Visa mounting, and your power cord and power adapter. The design of the Intel NUC is very compact and minimalistic. Storage space will never be a problem. It can even be mounted at the back of your TV or monitor with the Visa mount plate. At the top, you'll find your power button and an HDD activity indicator. Going to the front, you'll have your two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone jack, and an inference sensor. The 19 volt DC in is at the back, together with your video outs. Now you can choose between a mini display port or a mini HDMI. You'll also find the Ethernet port, another couple of USB 3.0 ports, and the exhaust vents. The thing about the Intel NUC is that it's a bare bones PC, meaning you will only need a few more components for it to function. But before you jump into any conclusions, assembling an Intel NUC is very easy with the straightforward instruction manual included. The Intel NUC's components are also upgradable. Now we'll show you how to assemble the Intel NUC. This is the D3410WYKH. We'll use this as our guide. You will need a Phillips screwdriver for this and perhaps a small cup to put all your screws in. Believe me, you do not want to spend the entire day just looking for a missing screw. Been there, done that. For the components, you will need a SODIM memory modules up to two sticks depending on your workload and an MSATA drive, again depending on your storage preference. These are the two essential parts to get your Intel NUC working. Optionally, you can install a wireless module card if you prefer Wi-Fi over the built-in Ethernet support or add another 2.5-inch SATA tree HDD or SSD for additional storage. For a list of Intel approved components or other questions about the Intel NUC, just visit www.intel.com support. Now let's start by first removing the bottom plate by loosening the four screws here here, here, here. Carefully remove the bottom plate. Removing the bottom plate will reveal the 2.5 inch hard drive bay. Lift the bay carefully to avoid damaging any wirings. Here you will see the slots for the MSATA drive memory modules, and wireless modules. If you have the wireless module in hand, you can install it first by removing the screw here. Carefully insert the wireless module diagonally. Gently press down the screw in its place. Remember to attach the antenna to the wireless module. To attach the MSATA drive, the procedure is just the same. 
first remove the screw here. Then, insert the drive in the slot diagonally, gently. Once in place, screw the drive right here. Make sure not to over tighten the screw. Lastly, we attach the memory modules. Remember to start filling up the memory slots from the lower slot first. Insert the module diagonally. Uh, okay, there we go. Now, gently push the module in. You will hear a soft click once the module is properly set. Repeat the step on the upper slot if you have another memory module to place in the unit. Another optional component is a 2.5 inch HDD or SSD. Get the 2.5 inch bay, this one right here, insert the drive right here. Make sure that the slot and drive matches properly and is locked into place. Once everything is set, simply return the bay back to its place and screw the back plate in. Connect the Intel NUC to a power source, connect your USB mouse and keyboard, your video output. Now all that's left is to install your operating system and you're good to go. Full desktop experience from a computer as small as a box of brownies. This video is a part of a series where we will show you how you can maximize your Intel NUC for entertainment, productivity, commercial use, and even gaming. Be sure to check out our other videos from PCXTV. Subscribe to our channel and videos on the Intel NUC. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think on the Intel NUC. Like this video, it's just a click away. And thank you for watching. My name is Emil. Let's do this again.